So hello and welcome back to my channel where I review odd tech, uh, odd pieces of uh, technology, mobile gadgets from the early 2000s. And this is the ASUS A730, the MyPal A730. And well, it's an interesting device because on the face of it is just a mid-ranger but it actually packs quite a punch for the um, the era it was launched in it has a 1.3 megapixel camera uh, it has bluetooth connection and other stuff uh, odd, odd bits and pieces so i will be looking at it right now to tell you the truth as you know by now i'm actually an ipac aficionado so I don't really know anything about this pocket PC. Um, is it a mid-ranger? Is it a top-tier model? Um, let's find out. Uh, first, I'm going to have a look at the design and construction. And by the feel of things, I wouldn't call it exactly a premium model. So there's a lot of creaks and bends. The plastic cover on the back is not so great. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, but actually it's a bit wobbly. Yeah, so that's not very pleasant or confidence inspiring. Uh, the stylus has a strange gap here, a strange niche where it can uh, hide itself. So I'm just going to put this away and open up the pocket PC. Of course, a removable battery and um, well, uh, interestingly enough, the mechanism for removing the battery is not quite that obvious to guess. It's a bit of a complicated design. It's a good one at that because it secures the battery in place, but it's not operated the way you think. So normally you think this niche, this hollowed out uh, place is for your fingernail. And of course, this ridge on top of the battery should uh, should suffice for removing it but actually there's <laughs> there's a strange spring mechanism here so you can see yeah it pops out and you can remove it so this is pretty ingenious because back in the day many mobile gadgets or mobile phones even had problems with removing the battery with you know with the battery disconnecting during usage so yeah interesting design but not uh, not something that you would uh, consider first time looking at this uh, strange beast. Uh, so yeah, we have Bluetooth here and uh, I'm just going to get it a bit closer to my um, my position. By the way, I'm not uh, I'm trying to figure out a three point lighting system. So I'm quite pleased with the light, but my <laughs> my camera uh, my camera setup is not that great. I'm just using a um, amateur grade uh, tripod, which is well and good, but it does somewhat hinder my arm movement. So if I'm uh, doing a strange position, that's why it is. So enough talking about the design. I think we all can figure out that is not premium, but it should suffice for. I mean, it's on to, it's on par with other 2000s devices. Um, yeah, the battery is kind of strange because it seems to work work both ways, and that shouldn't be the case. So you see, it has pins on the left side, uh, on the right side and on the left side. So it should be going like this or maybe like this. No, I don't know why it has two sets of pins because um, two sets of connectors because there, there's, there's only one set of connectors on the gadget itself. But there you have it. Strange design. Maybe some of you know why that is. So I'm just going to pop it back in and I'm not, I don't seem to be able to do that. There we go. Okay, so plastic extraordinaire everywhere. Um, 
doesn't feel this backslide uh, panel doesn't feel pretty secure in hand but I guess it does the trick sorry about all the smudges from my hands so I'll try to remove them quickly uh, by the way I thought of using uh, cotton gloves but I thought that to be too pretentious maybe in the next videos I will try that uh, type of uh, filming okay so I'm just going to quickly get the um, the um, charger and stand and uh, we'll have a look at it close up when it's started it should charge right up I didn't remove the stylus so yeah the this piece of um, this piece of hardware this uh, d docking station whatever it is seems to be solid enough yeah one thing I didn't tell you about the sorry one thing I didn't tell you about the design of it it sort of looks generic even more so than lower grade iPad. so it's not one of my favorite in terms of looks it just I don't know it doesn't seem to hit the mark it's not only the materials that are let down it's also the general look of the thing um, it's not to my taste so I didn't uh, exactly I wasn't won over by this type of device I just got it uh, cheaply actually when I bought one of the iPads I got this at a bundle deal something like that so it seems I have managed to get it up and running sorry about that inconvenience and sorry about this awkward position but I need to hold it in this uh, cradle of it uh, of sorts because otherwise I cannot charge it I don't have the proprietary cable yeah this is see this is is uh, this was back in the good old days when you had a proprietary cable designed for each um, manufacturer uh, so HP, I, HP offered their proprietary design ASUS as well and so on and so forth no micro USB deal here as you can see the same Windows Mobile um, startup um, sequence just one second sorry about the mess on the screen so it just teaches you how to start and to basically to create some um, some basic commands come on you move it okay so there we go no we don't care about the time let's leave it at that Come on so yeah pretty basic design what uh, one thing that's interesting to know about this device even though it was uh, a mid-tier uh, offering in 2004 when it was launched because it only had a 520 megahertz uh, processor so not the high speed machine the beasts of IHP IPAC the 620 megahertz processors it offers 64 megabytes of RAM and um, well that's about it in terms of uh, CPU or uh, whatever uh, of um, chipset but it did offer as I've previously shown you a camera on the back interestingly enough a CF card slot along with an SD card slot I don't know if you can see it right there so there there we have it and it offered a VGA resolution screen so even though it wasn't a 4 inch screen this is a 3.7 inch screen uh, the actual uh, pixel density is much higher so the screen should be theoretically more more advanced crisper and more pleasing to the eye uh, because they just crammed a lot more pixels per inch so it has a 640 by 480 screen but other than that it's your basic Windows mobile device thingy so nothing much going on here 
Um, it has infrared, uh, Bluetooth, and for some reason it says it has GPS, but I don't think that's the case. I'm just looking at a um, defective or, you know, not thoroughly, um, thoroughly um, a documented uh, website. So, yeah. That's the Asus Asus MyPals A730 and if you get it with a cradle, with a docking station or what have you, you get this nifty um, stylus holder. So yeah, um, I'm not really a huge fan of it. I, I'd like to, you know, sell it, give it away. Maybe if I get enough viewers, I, I would be inclined to you know, to sort of um, throw it out there for some guy who's passionate. Tell you what, I'll make an obscure deal. If I reach 1000, uh, I don't know, 1000 hours uh, should be, a, <laughs> well, should be an optimistic um, 1000 subscribers, even though that's an overly optimistic uh, uh, milestone at this point if I reach 1000 subscribers and I still have this gadget sitting around I might just be I will give it away to I don't know I'll figure out a way to uh, create a lottery system or what have you so there you have it a useless piece of tech from 2004 whoever wants it if I reach 1000 subscribers it's yours I don't really have anything else to say about it because I'm not really that passionate about it. I don't find it quite attractive, as attractive or as you know, pleasing to the... To... So there you have it. I don't find it quite as enticing or as uh, um, pleasing to operate as the... Um, the eye packs that I own that sounded quite weird didn't it but nevertheless it's not my thing not my cup of tea so I'll give it away as soon as I reach some uh, critical mass of subscribers so stay tuned I will be um, well I'll give away stuff basically thanks for watching and see you in the next one